O Lord God of heaven and earth, I am the God, and there is no other besides me. Behold, I came down to you in the flesh, and many beheld my face in the redeemed. And now I am come again, even to the outpouring of my spirit on all flesh. Yet you of this earth will not receive of me. Therefore I am sending out many in my own name, in the spirit and power of Elijah. And they shall prepare the way of the coming of the Lord, holy and true, that you shall spit at them, and they shall be hated by all nations. Behold, a great hissing shall arise among my own people, and many mocking voices shall come forth from among those who call of themselves Christian and Jew. Even from among the devout of Israel shall many step forward to stone them in wood and by thee, for they do always walk in the way of their forefathers. Yet undaunted shall my witnesses in turn speak louder, even with a greater voice in concert, with the power of the Lord in their nostrils, shall they declare the word of the Lord. A whirlwind of words and proclamations, miraculous signs and wonders, all in the name of Yahushua, the Mashiach, to the astonishment of the people. They shall blow the trumpet and call upon the name of the Lord in judgment and sanctification alike, able to uplift or destroy with a word, yet they shall in no wise raise a hand against another in violence, for theirs is the war of words, and strong shall the word of their mouth be, the voice of the Almighty uttered through men. For as it was in the days of Noah, so shall the coming of the Son of Man be. As it was in Egypt, so shall it be in the day of preparation, the time of war, the casting of judgment, plus one hundred four, as it was in all days past, when I sent out my prophets, showing mighty signs and wonders, so shall it be from this time forward until the coming of the Lord. You shall die, yet you shall not sleep, who may be glorified in my Yet those who had attained great knowledge, and those without knowledge, and those without knowledge shall be last. Yet those who were forsaken as last shall be first part shall be left empty, so they may be truly filled up. And those who were thought of as first shall be last. Yet the, those who were full shall be left empty, so they may be truly filled up. Those who were full shall be left empty, singing, and lo, you shall return with the king in all his glory. Those who were full shall be left empty, so they may be truly filled up, and those who were thought of as first shall be last. Yet those who were forsaken as last shall be first partakers of the glory. And those without knowledge shall be given great knowledge, for love has saved them. Yet those who had attained great knowledge shall be brought down to shame, so they too may be glorified in my presence. For love has saved them. Therefore, let it be written and understood, for it shall surely come to pass. Nothing, nothing in all creation can assort the will of the Most High God, nor shall any run out ahead of me. My will shall be done. 
for it is purpose and cannot be moved, having already been written in everlasting song before the foundation of the world. Therefore, little children, I ask you, what is my name? What is my son's name? Listen to him, for it is he who speaks to you, having received of mine, and spoken it to those I sent, who have received of his, and in turn spoken it to you. The Father and the Son are one, and these I sent shall also be one in us, even as all those who embrace my salvation shall also be one. For the day is coming and is already here, when all those of his body shall be one, and judgment shall sit. The mercy seat established, with all the sons and daughters of God gathered together, placed at his right hand. And as it is written, so shall it be. I shall be their God, and they shall be my people forever. One flock with one shepherd, one father, life without end. Amen and Amen.